Welcome to this video series, Next Step Guided Reading in Action. This series is an outgrowth of my book, The Next Step in Guided Reading. I'm Jan Richardson, and I've created this video series based on the many requests I've gotten from teachers who want to see lessons in action. These model lessons are designed to show you just how powerful and effective guided reading can be in improving your instruction and helping your students become better readers. As a key part of a literacy program, guided reading will help your students build the foundational skills they'll need to meet and exceed standards. These video clips cover the full gamut of readers you're likely to find in a primary classroom. There are lessons for pre-A, emergent, early, transitional, and even fluent readers. You'll see how small group guided reading lessons meet the needs of all readers. English language learners, struggling readers, and those reading on and above grade level. The pre-A lesson set helps you better understand and support children with limited preschool experiences or those who are learning how to speak and read English. I'll show you how to help these budding readers reach goals at the pre-A level, including how to learn letters and sounds, how to increase phonemic awareness, how to become familiar with print concepts, and how to link letters and sounds to write a simple message with the teacher. We like to run. Put your mouth ready. R. Tremendous growth happens between pre-A and the next stage, emergent reading. You'll see how emergent readers have learned most of the letters and sounds and are ready to learn reading strategies such as checking the picture and using initial letters to figure out new words. How did you know that was hill and not rock? We have an A. Your lesson plans will include helping emergent readers learn some easy sight words and use known letter sounds during reading and writing. L-I-K-E, like. A child at the early reading stage is developing more strategies for decoding. As the student gains automaticity with words, you'll see an increase in fluency. At this point, the books the children read have a storyline, so you'll want to teach them to retell and discuss the story. And you'll notice how I really push these comprehension elements in my lessons with them. What did the puppy do when he didn't get the food? He cried. He cried, so maybe they felt sorry for the puppy because he was crying. The word study with early readers targets phonetic skills such as digraphs, blends, the silent E feature, and vowel patterns. Transitional readers can be found in any grade, but they are most often reading at the second grade level. They have many sight words under their belt and are learning how to handle words with multiple syllables. Gregory, what helped you with this word? Was there a part that, the first part there? Yes. What was the first part? D. D. The stories at this stage are becoming more complex, so students can compare and contrast characters, ideas, and themes. You'll want to use a variety of genres, so students learn different strategies for understanding and discussing narrative, informational texts, and even poetry. If you teach second grade, you may have some fluent readers in your class. Students who are good at self-monitoring, decoding, fluency, and retail and who have the background knowledge to tackle advanced books. As I do with the students in the fluent model lesson, you'll want to challenge your strong readers with complex texts that require a variety of comprehension strategies. What did you learn on this page about their smell? A polar bear can smell a seal from a mile away so it has strong smell. Excellent. We've designed the next step guided reading in action videos to help you fully understand and master the guided reading process. With each reading stage you will find a reader profile and a step-by-step -step guide on how to plan a lesson. You'll also be able to watch an actual guided reading lesson and see short clips that demonstrate specific teaching points. One of the most valuable things you will learn in this video series is how to use your assessment data to plan and teach a guided reading lesson that targets individual needs. Before teaching each lesson in this series, I met with the classroom teachers. Together, we looked at the assessment data, identified a focus strategy, and selected an appropriate book. Um, and so we chose this great Gracie Chase. 
It's a nice storyline. It's got a beginning, middle, and end. has some details. As I'm teaching, you'll see me prompt and scaffold to help students develop independence with the focus strategy. After each lesson, I share my reflections and offer suggestions for the next guided reading experience. Don't forget to dig into the resources that accompany this set of video clips. In the View and Do Guide, you'll find suggestions for using this video series as a professional learning tool. There are also helpful questions and teaching tips and alignments to Common Core standards. The CD contains the actual lesson plans and assessment forms I used for the model lessons. I suggest you follow along with them as you view each lesson. You'll find the same blank forms for your own assessing, planning, and teaching. Now, I invite you to watch and study these videos and take the next step in your guided reading instruction.